today we are going to study one of the important topic entitled cathode ray oscilloscope so friends this is one of the ins important instrument used in physics and electronics laboratory for the measurement of frequency of the input signal this cathode ray oscilloscope is also abbreviated as cro so cro stands for cathode ray oscilloscope this instrument gives visual indication of the input signal waveform on its screen as you know that in our physics laboratory we are using voltmeter multimeter digital multimeter for measurement of current and voltages but you find that these meters will only give you or show you the magnitude of the voltage or current to be measured but we are unable to see how that voltage looks like here is the advantage of this cathode ray oscilloscope this cathode ray oscilloscope gives you visual indication means it also shows how the waveform looks like whether it is a sine waveform whether it is a triangular waveform or whether it is a square waveform so this is the speciality of this instrument in this sense it is a very versatile device or versatile instrument used in physics and electronics laboratory with the help of this cro or cathode ray oscilloscope we can measure the periodic time of the waveform we can measure the voltage or current amplitude we can also test some of the electronics components uh, like diode we can test a capacitor we can test a resistor we can test a transistor so in short this is a very useful very versatile instrument used in physics and electronics laboratories now in this topic we have to see what is the working principle of cro so remember this word cro so long form is cathode ray oscilloscope now let us see what is the working principle of the cro in case of cro the cathode rays means electrons are emitted by using the thermionic principle and these emitted electrons are deflected by using electric and magnetic field now let us see how the electrons are produced in cathode ray tube so here as shown in this figure now here we have shown one of the important part of cro c cro that is cathode ray oscilloscope that is the whole complete instrument that is called as cro and one of its part is crt that is cathode ray tube so this is the important part of cro or usually it is called as heart of the cro by using this crt we can produce the electron beam on the screen so what is crt crt is a funnel shaped glass envelope as shown in this diagram on the left hand side we have the pins for electrical connection because various electrodes like filament control grid pre accelerating anode focusing anode accelerating anode deflecting plates are mounted inside this conical shaped glass envelope usually it is a evacuated tube inside this tube there is no air air is removed from this funnel shaped glass tube so vacuum is existing inside this glass tube now we start observing the working of this from the left hand side so this is called as the base of this cathode ray tube and to this base the pins are fixed here so electrical connections with the electrodes inside this tube are made through these pins 
So these pins are just outside the uh, glass tube or CRT tube and these pins are fixed on this rigid support usually it is called as the base of the cathode ray tube. Now let us consider the important parts of this CRT. The important part of CRT is electron gun. So what is the use of electron gun? So this electron gun provides sharp well defined beam of electrons that is the main function of this electron gun. So this electron gun consists of the filament here. So when we pass the current through this filament, it produces heat and they, that heat is given to the cathode. So this cathode is heated by means of the filament and when this cathode is heated, it emits electrons. These emitted electrons are controlled by the control grid. Control grid has given a negative potential. So by changing the negative potential given to this grid, we can control the number of electrons which are moving towards the screen of the CRT. Then these electrons which are emitted by the cathode are controlled by control grid by applying the negative potential to this. So control grid will decide how many electrons are coming from this control grid. Then these electrons are passed through this pre-accelerating anode which is at a positive potential. So we try to increase the energy of the electrons by accelerating them by applying the potential difference. Then these electrons are passed through the focusing anode. What this focusing anode will do? Focusing anode will try to find or try to form a well defined sharp beam of electrons. They will travel towards the screen. Then this focused electron beam is again accelerated means its kinetic energy is increased by applying high potential difference between the accelerating and so these uh, combination of these electrodes from filament grid pre accelerating anode focusing anode and accelerating anode is called as the electron gun so the main function of this electron gun is to provide well defined intense beam of electrons and then this beam will travel with high kinetic energy towards the screen. So this electron gun provides well defined sharp intense beam of electrons. Then next part is the deflecting plate assembly. Deflecting plate assembly. So there are two set of deflecting plate assembly. One is called as the horizontal deflecting plates and another is called as vertical deflecting plates. Now do you see what is the meaning of this. So deflecting plates are basically used to deflect the electron beam. As we know that the electron is a negatively charged particle. So if it is subjected to a potential difference, positive and negative, these electrons will be attracted towards the positive potential plate, means they get deflected. Similarly, the electrons can also be deflected by using a magnetic field. So if we apply the magnetic field between north and south pole of the magnets, the electron beam can also be deflected. So amount of deflection produced on the screen depends upon the electrical field or strength of the magnetic field. Now why it is called as the vertical deflection plate? Because if we apply the potential difference between these two plates, what will happen? The electron spot will deflect along y direction. Therefore, these deflecting plates are called as vertical deflecting plates. Similarly, there is one more deflecting plate set that is called as horizontal deflection plates. Why horizontal? Because if we apply the potential difference between these two plates here, what will happen? The electron beam will be deflected along the x-axis. If we apply the potential difference to the vertical deflecting plates, the electron beam will be deflected in the vertical plane. 
are on y-axis. And if we apply the potential difference between the horizontal deflecting plates, what will happen? The electron beam will be deflecting in horizontal. The last one important part is the fluorescent screen. Here, the front side of this cathode ray tube represents the fluorescent screen. How the visual spot is found on the screen. Now, the front side of this cathode ray tube is coated with the materials like phosphor or zinc. When these highly accelerated electrons strike or collides, highly accelerated electrons collides with the fluorescent material like phosphor or zinc, what will happen? The phosphor material will absorb the energy of the accelerated electrons which strike with the screen. And this phosphor material again re-emits the energy in the form of visible spectrum. So we are able to see the bright spot on the screen where the electron beam collides or strikes with the phosphor material. So in this way, whenever the electron collides with the phosphor material, that spot is seen due to the property of the phosphor material that is phosphorescence. It absorbs initially the energy of the electron and again re-emit the energy in the form of visible light and therefore we are able to see the bright spot, illuminated spot on the screen of the CR. So this is all about the heart of the CRO that is cathode ray tube. So by using a cathode ray tube and by using cathode rays or electrons, we can produce a visual spot on the screen. This uh, figure shows how the CRT looks like. So this is usually CRT. This is a computer monitor. Usually it is called as a CRT type of monitor. Nowadays we are using LED, LCD monitors. But in olden days we are using CRT type of monitors. Now the second figure, this figure shows the internal structure of cathode ray tube. So this is the screen part and here we have the tube. Here we have the pins. This, uh, this is the deflecting plate assembly. So this is the cathode ray tube used in television. Same type of tube is, is used in our computer monitors and which is enclosed in a box which is not kept open because the voltage applied to the accelerating anode is near about 10,000 volts. A very high voltage is applied to the anode so it is not kept open. There is a possibility of shock hazards. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.